Commissar says the proposal to give 1,000 soldiers the powers of arrest is not a well thought out plan. He says the training received by soldiers is not conducive to this, and he believes more thoughts need to be put into this proposal. It spells up problems for the police service, it spells up problems for the way we police our society, and the police service association would be focused in really making a state. A statement and taking a stand and that is not the way forward in its current form. It's my position that that it is one of uh, one of the strategies that uh, needs to needs to be recalibrated. In, in its present form, it is not it's not one of the best strategies, or it's not one that is really productive for the police. He believes the system of joint patrol of police and army personnel should instead be retained as this has worked well in the past. One of the best situations is when we have the Joint Army Patrol, where the power of arrest resides with the, with the police force. And you have that support in terms of where there is an is, is, um, intense level of aggression to get the support of the soldiers. But outside of that, we recognize that the police, the, the soldiers really, they, they don't have that training to really deal with, 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 with the public. And when you look at the training soldiers, they really they are ready um, to for uh, aggression. It was during Monday's sitting of Parliament that National Security Minister Jack Warner announced the government's plan to give soldiers the powers of arrest. He said once the legal mechanism are put in place, the National Security Ministry plans to begin the process with an initial 1,000 soldiers. Anastasia Wilson, I News.